Hey guys, Jay Muff here. Welcome to the first brew day with the Brewer's Edge. I'm already into it. <clears throat> Got everything mashing. The sparge water heater running for mash out. At, uh, 71 minutes to go. I do 90 minute mashes as uh, those of you who have been following me for a while know. But here's the Brewer's Edge. It's uh, doing its mashing right now. So running quite happily. I'm only running it on uh, 1,000 watts. I can run it on 16 when I uh, do the boil, but uh, I know it says in the instructions not to run with a bag because it can affect things, but I've always run with a bag with my grains and there they are. Giving them a stir every once in a while. Keep the lid on so that it keeps the heat in. Excuse me and uh, also holds to keep the bag in place too so so far so good uh, did all my grain grinding with my KitchenAid uh, grain mill right there just brought it down and used it uh, so what I'm making is uh, an Irish red ale which is 10 pounds of two row half a pound of uh, Caramel 30, half a pound of caramel 120, and half a pound of roasted, uh, uh, what was that, barley, roasted barley. And then I'm uh, going to use one ounce of East Kent Goldings and then ferment it with uh, US05 in my Cooper's bottling bucket slash fermenter. And it should be pretty good. So when uh, when I'm ready to pull the thing out and then uh, rinse off the grain, so I'll uh, come back and we'll see how it goes. So far, so good though. Okay, we're back. We have 28 minutes left in the uh, in the mash. Uh, when there's 15 minutes left, I'm going to take the water that I have heating in the sparge water heater to rinse the grains, which. Uh, are looking pretty good actually. I just took some and uh, poured it over just to kind of sparge it a little bit while it's in there. And it's looking the way it's supposed to. It smells good. We'll see what the efficiency is when I take the uh, reading when we're ready to uh, put it in the fermenter. So, so far so good. That is the chiller that was in there. I've expanded it. I like to expand them so they cover more area. And I add a little bit of hose to the one side. I put everything on the rolling desk for this. Um, it's just going to be easier to pull it in because I got to take it to my old brewing area, which is through here, which we're now using for storage. But I still have my tubs and everything set up and my shelves, so we're good that way. But I can plug it in here and then do what I need to as far as cooling the wort down. It just makes it a lot easier. So, got my bottle washing station and everything here too, so. We're rocking and rolling. We're rocking and rolling. You remember that one? That was a source of great frustration for me many times. The beer machine. I just, I haven't had the heart to throw it away. And then Mr. Beer over there in the corner. So, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway. We're giving her. It'll be time very soon to uh, pop the bucket up and at that time I will turn this back on and show it to you guys okay we're back the buckets out and it's draining as you can see I don't know if you can see in there I'll shine a light in there the green in the way I'll be adding my Barge water here shortly. 13 minutes to go. Sparge water is hot. Sitting at 75. So we're gonna do this. So far so good. Alrighty. So we just got the boiling started. It's not boiling yet but uh, it will be. I'm gonna get the timer ready for 60 minutes for when it does start boiling. We're gonna add the hops in when it does. 
So, I started it off at 23 for uh, doing the mash, 23 liters. And I ended up having to add just shy of six liters of water to rinse the greens to get it back up to 25 liters for the boil. Now I know there's people out there that are going, oh, don't boil with your lid on. I know that. I know that. It's only on there to help heat the pot up faster, that's all. Once it starts to boil or get close to boiling, then that's going to come off. So, so far so good. Looks really good too, doesn't it, hey? Eh? Ooh, a little too close for the steam, I guess. Just a minute, I'll get that cleaned off for you. Right there, look at that. Looks pretty good, eh? So, yeah, the last stage, get her boiling and then give her an hour. I've already cleaned this, the bucket. All done. There's the spent grains. I just got to empty them out of my bag, clean the bag, and we're good to go for another run. Now let's just hurry up and wait. I still got six liters left in there. So, I started with 12. This, this little thing here, I think is going to be worth its weight in gold. For me, anyway. So yeah, we'll be back when it starts to boil. Okay, so we're just getting to the boil temperature. It didn't take too long. It's just, just starting to boil. So, as soon as it starts to boil, I'll add the hops in. We'll give it its one hour. Timer's already set and waiting. And uh, we'll go from there. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. It probably took, uh, I think, it, what did I say, 30 minutes for it to get up to boil temperature. So it's doing really well. Okay, so the boil's done. We've moved it in to the uh, area to plug in the chiller. We're just letting it cool down. And as soon as it's cooled down, we'll take a gravity reading and we'll figure out our uh, efficiency and whatnot and uh, see what we were actually at for a mount that... Uh, we have to put in the fermenting bucket. So, stand by, we'll be right back. Alrighty, so I can see the measurements here now. And it appears that I hit my target, six gallons. So, maybe a little bit less than what I wanted, but it's still, still okay. So, We'll see how much is actually in the pail when I put it in the fermenting bucket there, so. So, we're transferring from the kettle to the fermenter. It's been chilled down, 18 degrees. Did my reading on, I don't know if you guys will be able to see this or not, I doubt it. I will try. I make no guarantees that this will work. But it's at, uh, 1.048 1.048 So a little shy, I was looking for 1.050 So I'll run that through my thing here soon and see what the efficiency was but we're ready to go here, I already pitched the yeast in there and it's aerating because it's coming from a nice little height it'll be ready to cap off here shortly but it's getting there I want to get 23 liters. So we'll see. Almost done. So here it is in the closet in the fermenter. Just shy of the 23 liter mark, like just shy. So the line's just under the 23 there. So not bad, not bad, we did good. It's gonna be in the dark closet here. So the temperature stays about 18 degrees. And close the door so that nothing bothers it. And we'll see how it turns out here. Be checking her every week. And uh, I figure about three weeks probably to ferment. 
and then I'll have to bottle condition for probably three weeks so we'll see how it goes my efficiency was about 75 percent so a little low I'm gonna get a pump and see how that works I'm also gonna put uh, I have that silver stuff to go around it I'm gonna put that around it and uh, See if that also helps the boil a little bit because I noticed the boil wasn't quite rolling the way I wanted it. It was rolling, but I just like it a little more aggressive. So we'll see what happens. But well, there you go. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you on the next brew day.